Hi, my name's Steve Kaplan. I'm the chairman of the South Tahoe Wooden Boat Classic. Classic put on by the Antique Classic Boat Society of Northern California Lake Tahoe. We have uh, CSA here today with a number of boats. We have uh, 70 boats in the water and we're uh, celebrating the Dollar Family with some absolutely wonderful boats. So come on out. You won a trophy in Detroit in 19... My name is Ed Scott, and uh, Deborah Scott in my boat is uh, Baby Skip Long that we have at the show this year. Uh, Baby Skip Long is the uh, winningest race boat on Lake Tahoe. We have a trophy that actually won the Gold Cup in 1926 and 27. Uh, the boat was then moved up here uh, in 1929 by my great uncle who sold it to Stan Dollar. Uh, and he raced it at Tahoe, and it's one of the winniest race boats on Tahoe. The trophy that I have here is from the 1930s, and it's the uh, Tahoe uh, Power Boat Club Annual Championship Trophy that has 19 from 1931 all the way through 1940, of which Baby Skip Long won four of the races, and the Dollars won two more in addition to that. Um, Baby Skip Along is uh, in the show. Uh, we're happy to have it. It has a 621 Packard engine in it. And uh, we hope that everybody will enjoy, uh, enjoy seeing this boat, plus all the other wonderful boats up here. How you doing? My name's Mike Johnson. I'm the owner and builder of the Stingery. And um, it's been, took me a little over a year to build. I built it mostly out of uh, leftover racing parts that I've accumulated over the years. And then uh, come up with this nice little replica of a B Racing runabout. The B Racing class was a really hotly contested class in its day. Had really modified engines in their day. Um, they would run them on, uh, they ran six cylinders um, injected on alcohol. So those boats really did make some horsepower and they had some serious speeds. I'm Kelly Wilkie. This is my husband, Steve Wilkie. We're in front of the Shanty 2. Which was originally a project of my father, and unfortunately he passed on, so now it's our project. And it was originally, it's actually Bill Wagner's boat. He had it built in 1958 as a unlimited hydroplane that was going to take the world by storm, but unfortunately it turned out to be an unsuccessful project. But we found it, and it was too unique, and I guess we saved it. Hi, I'm Gene Dangle. This is uh, Sue and my boat. You can pan over to Sue. She's just right over there. And uh, this boat is a 1969 race on craft marathon boat. Uh, it was built by Rudy Ramos, who founded Race on Craft Boats in 1957. And he built this boat specifically for the 1969 Orange Bowl 250 Speed Classic uh, in the Miami Marine Stadium. And he won that race with the boat. Uh, at the time, it was, it was powered by a 496 cubic inch version of the Boss 429 that Holman Moody was developing uh, for the Ford Motor Company um, Can-Am race car project that was ultimately canceled. And it was an aluminum blocked engine, uh, Lucas fuel injected. Uh, they only made 12 of those blocks. There's a few of them still laying around. Uh, so we powered the boat with a 1969 427 Chevrolet. Uh, it runs really well. Uh, the boats were built heavy to take uh, 250 to 500 mile races, averaging 75, 80 mile an hour speeds uh, through water that was uh, a 
say sloppy, choppy, you know, kind of water. Uh, race on crafts are still being raced today. The successor of this boat uh, is the GN model. Uh, even today, those boats that were built in the 70s are still winning national championships 30 some odd years later. Um, Rudy Ramos, unfortunately, passed away in 2006, so he's no longer with us, but his boat's still up. I'm Dan Arena. Um, this is Dan Foster, and our fathers were uh, high school friends and started in the Racing Association with CSA, and were the charter members of the organization back in '34, and started their racing careers. Yeah, hi, I'm Dan, also a member of the CSA, and my father's still living in Gross Point Woods, Michigan. And uh, in the beginning, it was Dan Arena and Danny Foster, and today it's Dan Arena and Danny Foster. It certainly has been fun with this association and heritage. And Dan, explain to our friends here about this trophy. The, the Doc Barron Trophy that was set up in uh, early uh, 34. Uh, Danny, um, my uncle, is on there twice and along with uh, Dan was his riding mechanic along at that time. The, um, the boats were pretty much hand-built by these guys. They did everything from painting and scrubbing the decks to launching them and it was just a great friendship. And my, my current affiliation with uh, CSA is I'm taking one of the last known original survivors of the arena race boats. It was a seven liter powered by a blown Hemi Chrysler. And I'm currently trying to finish it up to actively uh, support CSA in their endeavors to keep the sport alive. And I'll be the riding mechanic as it was in the beginning. You know, I'll have my screwdriver in hand, ready to tweak those carburetors or whatever, and I'll let Dan do the driving. I'll be there riding along with support.